And then the third aspect is medical, because a lot of hospitals have been destroyed. We took a helicopter and we went to a valley called Shinkiari, which was about a 20-minute helicopter flight away from Muzaffarabad. Zuff? About 200 Marines had set up a field hospital that was going to operate for the next couple of months, helping people throughout the winter. And there we actually met two young guys, a Marine named Mehdi and Badi, and they had actually been born in Pakistan, but had come to the States with their families when they were young and grown up as all American kids. What were your memories of Pakistan growing up? We didn't have that much money. I mean, we, were, we weren't like, we were like, I'd say less than average. My, I mean, my father had to support like nine brothers and sisters. We had a big family. I grew up in Karachi and moved a lot of different places within Karachi, different cities. I was raised over there until fifth grade, and then I moved to States. Now, here they were back again, helping bridge that gap between both Pakistan and the U.S. with the work that they did every day. How did it come down? You know, did, did they find you? Did they say, oh, we need an order to a speaker, or? Yes, they actually, they were actually getting uh, a lot of Pakistani people together, finding out, like, who can speak the language. My CEO of my unit actually came up to me and told me, I'm on standby, I'll be going there soon. And I was actually pretty happy about it. I heard Pakistan, and I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get on it, you know, I have to go. I was like, I speak the language, I'm from there, I have family there, you gotta, I gotta get on there. They spoke Urdu. They wanted to be there and to help their country. On my job right now, I'm a translator. When we first got here, me and uh, PFC Medi, we were just running around because we didn't have any of the translators here. So it was me and him just working like 24 seven. Tell him um, his x-rays of his finger and his knee are negative. There's no fracture. I really didn't think I was gonna see stuff like this. We have, you know, burn victims, people with broken legs, missing missing body parts, you know, rashes, all kind of rashes, you know, all this stuff that that was caused by the earthquake. Tell me what's going on. Don was slipped and like hit his knee. He was building a shelter or something. How have a lot of the locals been reacting to Americans being here? They're actually pretty happy for us being out here, helping them out. They're getting a chance to actually see other type of people from other countries. And they actually say like, it's a totally different concept of what they see on TV, but when you actually see them, meet them in real life, they're actually pretty good. I think the people in Shinkiari and, and all around the Marine Hospital, when they come in and they see a Pakistani American relaying to them what the doctor is telling them for their treatment, it's huge because it redefines what an American must be for them because they see themselves. It's basically like your brothers and sisters, you know, that died, that are dying right now, they need help, you know. Yes. Helping the people that I raised with. I mean nothing better feeling than that. But the scope and the scale of the disaster, I mean, how long do you think it's gonna be before these people are at least back to where they were? It might I'd say a, maybe a half a year. They'll get back on their feet. Yeah. I mean these people I know these people, you know, I'm I'm one of them, you know. They're strong, you know.